Okay, Australia has some tough questions to answer now. Joining us now is the man who can perhaps give us some of the answers live and exclusive on CNN IBN. The Australian High Commissioner Peter Varghese joins us from Delhi, sir. Appreciate your joining us. You've heard the External Affairs Minister SM Krishna there saying the attacks like this latest brutal killing of Nitin Gar could now cause a strain in bilateral relations. How do you react, Mr. High Commissioner? Much of what the External Affairs Minister said uh, is absolutely right. Uh, this was a, uh, a vicious crime. Uh, it's one that uh, we certainly find completely unacceptable. Uh, and I think the point now is that we need to focus on finding the perpetrators of this crime and bring, bringing them to, to justice. Uh, and that's certainly where the focus of our criminal justice system will, will lie at the moment. Fair enough, uh, Mr. Varghese, but I think what's causing a lot of anger and hurt here in India is in fact the denial by many of the Australian authorities, including as we saw the Australian police there, that these indeed are racist attacks. Why is it becoming so hard to accept that racism is most definitely a motive? Well, I don't want to get into the business of analysing the motives of this particular crime because... Uh, none of us have all of the information at hand. I think the sensible thing to do in these situations is to allow a police investigation to uh, continue and to allow the process to unfold in the way that it's meant to fold. I think speculating on whether this was a, raci a racist crime, whether it was an opportunistic crime, uh, is not going to get us very far. Let's wait for... Uh, the facts to be in. Let's wait for the judicial system to deal with this uh, and let's wait for the perpetrators to be brought to justice. And I have every confidence that the Australian system uh, will do that. Sir, uh, Mr. High Commissioner, you want to look at facts. Let's look at one fact, that more than 500 uh, Indian students were attacked last year. Now, obviously, uh, therefore, with every attack, there's a feeling that there is a tinge of racism there. Now, despite all the tough penalties and laws, the number of attacks haven't come down. As I said, you know, there have been 500 attacks in the past year. Why are the methods that the Australian government is, uh, is adopting simply not working on the ground? I can't give anyone a guarantee that there will be no more crimes in Australia. And I think any such guarantee would lack, uh, would lack credibility. Uh, but we will try and do what we can... Uh, to minimize these attacks, whether they be on Indian students or whether they be uh, on other residents uh, in, in Australia. Uh, and we, ha we have taken measures. We have uh, significantly strengthened the policing resources uh, that we uh, make available. We've uh, doubled the task force in Victoria dealing with, uh, with robbery. Uh, we've strengthened police powers to search for weapons. Uh, we've changed legislation to ensure that judges are able to take hate crime into account in imposing more severe penalties. But Mr. High Commissioner, clearly that's not working because as we can see in those numbers, there's a survey done that there's been at least 4,000 less Indian students who have applied for visas to go to Australia and primary among those concerns is the term racist Australia. It's a term that's now being commonly used I'm sure it worries you immensely. I, I, I fully understand the concerns that have been expressed uh, about attacks on Indian students. Um, they're perfectly understandable. We take them seriously. We want to act on them. But I think we need to also put it in some sort of broader perspective.